Meg throwing tantrums. Oz breaks out in cold sweat as Meg discovered evidence him of a fair W. Rose. The coronation is merely hours away, and that means the internet is laser focused on all things royal. For weeks, everyone speculated about whether or not the couple would attend, if they would be seated right next to Prince William and Princess of Wales Kate Middleton, and if everyone would come to blows over Harry's revelations in his best selling memoir, Spare. And this time it's not Harry and Meghan the world is frantically Googling, but actually, Rose Hanbury. Rose Hanbury, the neighbor of the Prince and Princess of Wales, will attend the coronation. She's often been photographed at events with William and Kate and was an attendee at Prince Philip's memorial service and Queen Elizabeth II's state funeral last year. Rose will likely attend not only because she is the spouse of David Chumley, pronounced Chumley, 7th Marquess of Chumley, who has been named as King Charles Lord-in-Waiting, but also because her son, Oliver, has been named as one of the king's pages, tasked with holding the robes of the king, alongside Prince George. Sources say that Prince Harry's seating position at the coronation ceremony has been revealed, and he won't be anywhere near his father, King Charles. Prince Harry will be pushed under row 11. What a coincidence that Rose Halliburry is also expected to have a seat in that area. If this is true, then it must be a good show to watch. Meghan, in the past, was jealous of William and Kate's happy family. She paid Giles Curran to spread the news that William had an affair with Rose. However, no one seemed to believe it, and later Charles Karen himself admitted that he has no reliable sources, specifically Charles Cora and a friend of Meghan's who'd spent a weekend drinking with Meghan and Harry at the opening of a new Soho house in Amsterdam. Take note that this happened just a month after Meghan announced she was pregnant with Archie, at the time but drank heavily with her husband in Amsterdam during the trip. In a discussion about whether William had an affair with Rose Honeyberry, Curran said that everyone knew it was true. Karen recently admitted on Twitter that he lied, but of course, the damage was already done. For when Harry and Rose were seated next to each other during a state banquet in 2017? The same event hosted Queen Letizia and King Felipe of Spain, William and Catherine were in attendance. What's interesting about the state banquet is that it was Harry's first one, and he was dating Meghan during this time as it was July 2017. According to Hello! magazine's Gemma Strong, a few months later in November, they'd announced their engagement. Roughly two months later, on September 4, 2017, it was announced that Catherine was pregnant with Prince Louis. As per the BBC, Harry and Meghan's engagement announcement came about two months after this, on November 27. Louis's birth happened on April 23, 2018. Harry and Meghan's wedding occurred a month later on 19 May. So, here's our theory. What if Harry had an affair with Rose during this time and then passed it off as Williams, given that Meghan was working her woke magic on a now husband, only for him to propose not long afterward? It all makes sense, the state dinner, now the state dinner is hosted in honor of the Spanish king and the queen consort. It's unknown where Meghan would have been during this time, it's possible she was over in Toronto filming suits. Most of her and Harry's courtship was long distance. It makes sense that if Harry did have an affair with Rose, which we doubt he did, it would fit within this period when Meghan wasn't around. British socialite and food critic Giles Corrin tweeted, Yes. It is an affair. I haven't read the piece but I know about the affair. Everyone knows about the affair, darling. It was quickly deleted thereafter, but the damage had already been done.